WTV's Dave Taylor joins us live from our nation's capital with our top story today, where that news conference is just about to get underway. Dave? And we did. It just got underway. We are here at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. So it is my distinct pleasure to introduce NASA's newest and oldest astronaut, John Glenn. Only in central Ohio is the number 13 lucky. A horny for me. This is a 10 TV exclusive. Timothy Little Rock Reed is an Ohio man on the run. The thick black smoke early on presented a real scare when one firefighter couldn't be accounted for. Uh, we appreciate uh, this opportunity for a lively discussion. This is not an open forum, it is a media event. Just after nine this morning, chaos broke out. Employees were escorted out of the building, holding back tears and holding on to each other. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew oh. of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. A flawless liftoff for the shuttle Discovery on a beautiful day. Thought it was something to be seen and heard. Well, our Jerry Revish traveled today to Brown University, where Gordon Gee is tonight to start his new adventure, and he joins us live. Jerry? You know, Andrea, there's a little poetry to all of this tonight. Uh, two of the biggest marquee schools in the country changing hands today. Angela, the games are a go, huh? Yeah, the game is a foot, Dave. Timothy Little Rock Reed is an Ohio man on the run. He says his dirty little secret about the Ohio prison system makes him a marked man. Tonight, you'll hear what he knows, what the state is doing, and how much you're paying to bring him home. The Supreme Court cleared the way for extradition, if they can find him. Well, the 10TV I team did, and Paul Adrian traveled across the country, the final miles, blindfolded before Little Rock Reed would talk to us. Paul Kenny questioned the people dedicated to bringing him back, and Kurt Ludlow puts this in perspective. Is this all worth it? We have team coverage on our top story tonight, and we begin live in New Mexico with I-Team reporter Paul Adrian. Paul, a fascinating story. Dave, it certainly is. This is one of the more unique extradition cases in American history. After all, Ohio has wanted parole violator Timothy Little Rock Reed returned to the state for years, but courts here in New Mexico have refused to hand him over, saying that his life would be in jeopardy should he be returned to Ohio. But now the United States Supreme Court says he must go, and he's almost ready to go, but first he wants to tell his story. 